While my career stuff is really fun, there's one big problem. Fiscal responsibility leads to very boring missions. I can't do anything really out there and crazy and stupid and fun, but I can do that in my creative world. That's where we are now. This is a world I've been running since version 0.17 first started. It's getting kind of crowded, but that's why I like it. I like a good dusting of space debris. makes my world feel real. This is a mission to perform a a fixed-wing flight on EVE starting from interplanetary trajectories. I'm not going to break orbit, I'm just going to dive right in and hopefully I'll be able to get a good stable flight going and not crash and tumble and all that craziness. This would be very risky to do if I was paying for it, but since I'm not, this can be really fun. I would, I'm just about to reach the interface for EVE Sphere of Influence. Let's fast forward into that, see what kind of we've got here. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, this, the way it's curving tells me that this would be a circular orbit if I didn't leave the sphere of influence. You see the way it's curving inwards here? If this were in the real world where there's everybody attracting at all distances, this would close up. This would be a real orbit. But it's not, so it doesn't. And what's a periapsis? 109. Let's let's bring that in a bit. Let's bring that in to maybe 40 or 50. I know that Eve has a pretty thick atmosphere, though I'm not quite sure how thick. Yes, I am using MechJeb for this. It's something I do when I'm doing creative things like this. I'll probably never use it on any sort of career mission, because that's just kind of silly. You're not here to watch me push the buttons on the mech jab, you're here to watch me fail with style. But for this, most of the stuff I'll be doing will be beyond the purview of mech jab anyways. So, what's our periapsis coming down to? Uh, cut that at 40. Give it a bit more gas, I think. Just a bit more. Yeah, 38. Eh, good enough. Yeah, I might use it a bit with the surface mode, uh, this one, to set tra to set my trajectory hold and steady, but probably not. Let's begin to warp in. Yeah, like that. This design is a derivative of the Solitude series. This craft is, is called Solitude 15. It's something I've been building and developing for the entire life of this of this world. The first craft I launched in this um, in point seventeen was Solitude 1. Whenever I want to do something and do it reliably, I use a Solitude craft. It's got tons of Delta V, very reliable, uh, almost never explodes during launch, which for my designs is kind of rare. And where's Eve? Where did Eve go? It's a planet. How do you go about losing a planet? Well, if anyone could manage it, I could... There it is. Let's see. We're coming pretty close. Let's speed up again. Okay. Yeah. We're hitting it now. Okay, and we're coming in on the dark side of Eve. That's no good. Yeah, that, I believe, is my other stage. It's the, uh, the main boosty stage. Way over there. Um... Okay, we have interfaced with atmosphere. Let's unlock that. Let's assume a prograde position, if we can. Where's prograde? There's prograde. Let's lock that in. Yeah, like so. And begin to come round level. I won't drop off these these radial interplanetary stages here until I'm sure we won't be coming back out of the atmosphere. Which we might not be doing. I might be dropping this off pretty soon now. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to have to use the surface mode. Um, well, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to try and find the prograde again. Okay, there's that. Okay, I've got to drop this ballast now. Okay, and we're loose. Excellent. 
Go away and never troll me again, you weighty things. Heavy things. Okay, we're tumbling. We uh, take a prograde. Uh, get a prograde job. Um, can you? Please? Are you much obliged? Yeah, we're tumbling. This always happens. Let's add some thrust to the mix. We're spinning now. That's not good. Um, this might be a failure. Okay, 240. I've got that number now. Can dial that in and pitch of 15 for now. If we can do it, can we do it? No? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, get up there. Get up. Get your nose up, soldier. We're kind of flying upside down, but I don't think that really matters. At least it lets our pilot get a good view of the ground. Come on up. Come on, almost. You've almost got it. We're, we're definitely beginning to get more forward than down, I think. If this meter can be believed. According to this ver vertical speed meter, we're going down at about minus 100 meters per second, and we're going in total 230. So the rest of that would have to be horizontal, which means we have more horizontal than vertical right now. That's good. That's very good. Now uh, we can turn that off and turn that and turn SAS on and go bananas. Now we're pointing this way, I guess. Let's pulse SAS to set that in because it appears to be working good enough. Okay, I have no idea what's going on now. Turn off SAS for now. Let's. We can't ride ourselves. Okay, now which way we pointed? Um. Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Please. Yes. 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 This is good. Okay, throw it down. Throw it down because we're almost out of gas. Okay. No. Okay, SAS is trying to kill me. Whenever I turn the SAS on, it does that weird thing. So I'm going to have to be doing this manual. Which you can probably tell by the way, it's just twitching all over the place like that. Okay, throw it down even more. I am pretty sure this is a fixed wing flight on EVE from, from, a, hyperbolic, from a hyperbolic orbit to a stable aircraft. I am pretty pleased with this. This is they, this is nice. I'm happy now. I'm going to see how far I can get this. Probably not too much further because as you can see we're running out of gas pretty quick. Um, and that speed is probably another 30 seconds of gas. So let's bring that down a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Is that, is that stable? Yeah, that's stale. We are losing altitude, of course, but we're losing it in a very controlled manner. We are, we are in control of our crash, as it were. It's kind of a shame that we're coming in like this, because I've heard that the sunrises on EVE are green, and I think that would go really neat with the green sky and the, uh, and the purple other sky and the planet of Barneyness. Yes, this is what, yes, this must be where Barney hails from. How are we doing? Altitude is good. Uh, fuel is is about as bad as I thought it was going to be. The the ship is a rockin', so don't come knocking. And I don't like how much I'm having to fight to keep this nose up. I think this, I think this craft is a bit unbalanced. It's surprisingly tricky to make a rocket plane like this that can fit on top of my platform, 
but not um, but not break on re on entry I could have built another rocket just for the purpose but I really like the idea of reusing the same uh, the same solitude platform for everything you can see sparkly bits I've never I've never really landed on Eve I've never had much interest in that I've always been much more of I've always been much more fascinated with the moons of Jewel. If you can, I just love the way they keep interacting with each other and flinging you around and just, you can stay out there and fly forever. I should do this on, I, I, I should do this on Lathe. That would be cool. Okay, I probably wasted enough of your time, so let's come in for a landing. Well, I say landing. Let's come in and for a, for something. We'll find out, but. Oh, nose up, nose up. I don't want to go down more than 100 meters per second, which I am doing. Uh, so let's bring that back up. <laughs> I just had this image of an airliner landing at an airport and taking this same dive bomb approach of of landing that I seem to be doing here for when they just get too impatient you will note that there is a decoupler here and a parachute here I have made provisions for in case this this flight was completely unrecoverable if it was just completely bonkers and spinny like it normally does when I try this but it doesn't seem to be needing it. I don't think I'll need to do the emergency escape route this time. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to cut the engine now. See what we do. Yeah. About 6,000 meters up. Well, 5,500 now. But this is a pretty good landing approach, I think. Mainly due to the soup that is Eve's atmosphere. It's like flying in jello. That's mainly why, why I tried this with Eve first. I want to do this with all the with all the, with all the atmospheric bodies in the game. Uh, Eve, Jewel, Lath, uh, and Duna. I believe that's it, besides Kerbin. But I wanted to do that on all of them. I wanted to start with Eve because on Eve you can't. It's it's hard to fail this. You have an you have a very large airbag underneath you. Oh, uh, and Moho. I could I could do this on Moho, but if I did that, I want to do it real quick because they're going to be changing Moho real soon. They're going to take out the atmosphere, make it a lot less mur murderous of a planet to try and land on, which is good, I guess, but. I've never been to Moho. I've never, I don't know, it's just so close in and so, so much weirdness there that I don't want to get involved with it. Okay, we're coming in now. I severely overestimated my altitude relative to this apparent mountain. Okay, you'll note that my air speed is 38 meters per second. Oh! should have pulled the parachute. But anyways, that's why we're in the creative world. That way I don't have to care about the lives of my cur of my Kerbinauts. I can just do silly shit like that. Uh, let me know if you like this. Let me know if you if you appreciate more um, uh, more topical weird things outside of the standard career mode. But next time I think I will be doing some more of that if I can think of anything fun to do. Well, anyways, have fun, guys.